the Breakfast Club, mm. bitches. Who's donkey of the day today? <clears throat> well, Ed Sheeran, uh, donkey of the day for Tuesday, March 2nd, goes to Aaron Beltrain and Andrew Breach. Okay, all my hip-hop historians who have seen classic black cinema like Paid in Full. Drop on the clues bombs for Paid in Full, one of the greatest movies ever made. Mm -hmm. You remember when Sonny got kidnapped and Mitch called Ace to tell him Sonny got kidnapped and he was telling Mitch he needs to connect right now so he can get the money for Sonny's ransom. Remember that? Remember when Mitch told Ace these two lines? Because this ain't for him, A. This ain't for him, man. Remember those lines? Mm -hmm. That's me. Okay, in regards to the ideologies that exist on social media. It, it ain't for me, man. Okay, what's happening in the digital world is ruining us in real life, okay? It is ruining our critical thinking skills. Common sense is long gone. What is common sense? What is that? Okay, nobody uses that anymore. And the feelings that people have about a situation over the actual facts of a situation, ruining our society. Ruining. Okay, we live in a society where everyone, the young, the old, are seeking validation from a bunch of people they never met in their life. Literally, some people wake up in the morning and don't form an opinion about anything until they see what the popular opinion about the topic is on social media. I understand why, because nobody wants to feel backlash. I get it. I get it. It's hard to have your own opinion. It's hard to actually, you know, speak your mind and have your own thoughts and say what you really feel. Okay, if you not about that willing to have people uh, disagree with you life, okay? You do realize that is the reason why people are usually afraid to share their opinions because they are afraid to have folks disagree with them, especially on social media because that backlash be vicious. But what's nuts about this, okay, is you just don't know any of these people, all right? <laughs> these people who you are listening to on social media, letting them dictate your feelings, your mood, your opinions, your thoughts, you don't know any of them. Okay, you don't know how sick these people could be mentally. You don't know what these people are going through emotionally. You don't know how miserable they are. And they transferring that misery to you. But these are the people you choose to follow. These are the people you seek validation from. Okay, well, if I haven't convinced you, okay, let's talk about Aaron and Andrew. Today's donkey of the days. There is a Spanish rapper, Aaron Beltran, who came up with a plan to get, guess what, more attention on social media. So he made a deal with Andrew, who, by the way, is an Oxford-educated British teacher. And they worked out a payment plan. According to the New York Post, Aaron agreed to pay a fee, depending on how many times the video was shared on YouTube. The payment ranged from about $240 to a maximum of $3,000. Maximum of $3,000. All Andrew had to do was go along with what Aaron wanted. Well... What was Aaron's plan? What did Aaron, this aspiring rapper, want to do to get attention? We don't have a news report, so I have to explain this to you. Let me sip my tea. Mm, mm, mm. <clears throat> Pull up a chair. Your Uncle Charlotte has a story to tell. One afternoon, okay, one evening, just before 7.15 7 p.m., both men were in the victim's bedroom. Mm -hmm. Andrew tied his pajama cord around the bottom of his penis to avoid hemorrhaging. Hemorrhaging? Hemorrhaging? Somebody out there listening to me just said to themselves, hemorrhaging? As they bite into a chicken biscuit from Bojangles? Hope you got some grape jelly on that thing. But yes, I said hemorrhaging. Eat your biscuit. Now Aaron, a.k.a. the accused, sat on a chair in front of Andrew, pulled out a 12-inch kitchen knife, and what do you think happened next? He proceeded to cut Aaron's penis off. Why you stop chewing your biscuit? Finish that. Police found Andrew, who is a teacher who teaches at a local language academy, bleeding heavily after the stunt. Now, Aaron said he did it just for social media attention. But another officer said Andrew wanted to uh, sever his penis because he did not feel like he was completely male. True story. When they interviewed Andrew in the hospital, he said, and I quote, he did not feel 100 percent a man and wanted to get rid of his penis. Andrew, it's surgeries for that. Okay, you a whole teacher, all right? People trust you to teach their kids every day, but these the kind of choices you're making in your free time? I mean, I've let a friend give me a haircut before. Okay, you might even trust a friend with a tattoo gun. But to trust a friend with a home sex reassignment surgery? Then you made a deal with your friend to pay you based on how many views the video of the amputation received on YouTube? By the way, these aren't kids. I'm looking at their pictures. These are grown men with beards. Okay, the guy who got his penis cut off is a teacher! All right? The other guy's an aspiring Spanish rapper. 
And this is with whom you want to place your fate? These are the people who you let dictate how you move? Not to mention, both these guys drank four bottles of wine and took Valium to gather the courage to go through with this. I don't even know what Valium is. Jerome, what's Valium? I, I'm not the drug. I don't, you know. None of y'all know what Valium is? No. 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 Yeah. Like, what's Valium mean? <laughs> I knew one of y'all druggies knew. He said, yeah. What's Valium mean? <laughs> It's like a prescription medication, I guess, for you to um, be able to go to sleep, relax. Okay. Well, they took four bottles of wine and took Valium to gather the courage to go through with this. Listen, as Mitch said in Paid in Full, this ain't for me, A. Eh? And I'm fine. Y'all can have this social media era. And did I tell y'all that prosecutors admit the amputation was consensual, but Aaron, the rapper, still bears criminal responsibility, and Andrew lied and said he cut off his own penis, contradicting his sworn statement that Aaron, the rapper, was responsible? Just a whole bunch of mess and confusion. And you wonder why you feel like a mess and you feel confused because these are the people you are seeking validation from on a daily basis. And people like this are seeking validation from you on a daily basis in the form of likes and retweets, views, and the worst drug known to man, attention. Listen, people, never chase love, affection, or attention. If it isn't given freely by another person, it isn't worth having. Kids, I promise y'all it's not worth it. Stop it. Okay, it's not worth dying for, and it's damn sure not worth losing your penis. But you only find yourself in situations like this when you live for the attention of the crowd, social media or otherwise. Always remember... If you live for the praise of people, you will die by their criticism. And if you live for social media attention, you will lose your penis, your pee-pee, your Peter, your prick. Please let Remy Ma give Aaron Beltran and Andrew Breach the biggest hee-haw. Hee-haw, hee-haw, you stupid mother are you dumb. And I know what y'all thinking right now. What? You want to hear Aaron's bars. You want to hear if Aaron's raps are worth losing your penis over, don't you? Let's play some of Aaron. Let me hear Aaron spit. This is from his YouTube channel. What's this? Huh? Huh? No, 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 no. Yeah, I, I got to fart on those bars. Fart on those bars, man. Fart on those bars. You don't even know what he's saying. I don't. Yeah. What did he say, Drum? How do you know they're not good? What did he say? He was asking for like a, he's saying he was asking for a response and he never got one and that was the beginning. Nah, of I need some Goya. I need some seasoning. Let me put some seasoning on that thing. Now, this is, <laughs> let, me, let me put some little seasoning, put some Goya on that. Now, if I was a and mm. uh, you know, uh, Aaron after a time like this, especially after this story, this is what I would be releasing. Let me hear Aaron. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Okay. Drop one of Clues bombs Cut for that, Dramos. How do you say home in Spanish? Casa. How do you say circumcision? I don't, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, that's Gracia Circumcision, new single from Aaron Beltran. Casa, man. What I said? I don't know what the hell you said. Oh, okay. It wasn't Spanish. Don't worry about it. Donkey today is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull.